If you feel like the page load speeds on your WordPress website are just crawling, this is the video for you. We spent over 60 hours researching how you can reduce your page load times in half with just 30 minutes of work. So stick around for the step-by-step -step guide. Before we spend a lot of time speeding up our website, it's a good idea to get a solid baseline of how fast your website actually is. Now this can be a really frustrating process because every tool you use is gonna give you totally different numbers. For example, Google Analytics is gonna give you a page speed that's super long, sometimes 15, even 60 seconds, because it's measuring different things than all of the other page speed tests. It's measuring how long it takes the whole page to load, which often requires a user to scroll all the way to the bottom. That is not a useful number for you. There are only actually three numbers that really matter and that you need to worry about. The first one is called FCP. That's first contentful paint. That's the first content that actually loads on your page, whether it's an image or text or whatever it may be. The second number is called DCM. That's the DOM content loaded. That's when the first HTML file, the actual whole first page that they see is finished loading and is visible to users. That's the number that most of these tools are trying to measure for you and both of those numbers are gonna be in seconds. The third number is actually a, an optimization score. Google will give you an optimization score as will most of the other tools, but again, each one measures things a little bit different. These are all on a scale of zero to 100 and for the Google optimization score, anything above 85 is really actually quite awesome. So don't work on trying to get to 100. This number can be totally gamed. It's a measurement of how optimized your website is or your, that one page is. It's not really a measure of how fast it loaded. And that's where the FCP and the DCM are actually really, really helpful. To get all these measurements, go to incomeschool.com speed. We'll give you links to all of these free tools. Okay, there's no cost involved in this kind of stuff. You're gonna go to Google PageSpeed Insights. You're gonna run your homepage, take a screenshot. Then I want you to go run another page from your website. Maybe it's a recommended products page or an article. I want you to go run a couple other pages. Each page is gonna load a little bit differently depending on the content. Get a screenshot of the results for each of those. Then I want you to go over to Pingdom, do the same thing. Then I want you to go over to GT Metrics, do the same thing. All the numbers will be a little bit different. What we're not gonna do is compare them to each other. We're gonna compare the before and the after. Once you have a solid baseline, I want you to go test your plugins. The way we're gonna test the impact of your plugins is by actually just disabling all your plugins temporarily. Go disable them, go run another speed test. If you notice a substantial difference, then you're gonna to wanna to reactivate your plugins one at a time and figure out which one or ones, it might be multiple, are having the biggest impact on your site. This is gonna come into play a little bit later in the video as we talk about how to speed up your website. Once you have these baseline speeds, you're ready to follow our 30 minute optimization plan. And once you are through with this optimization plan, you can become the king of the page speed world. So this is our four step process that should only take you about 30 minutes for optimizing your page load speed. Step one is images. Images are really big nowadays. People take, even the photos you take with your camera are just gigantic. So here's our recommendation. You need to get those image file sizes down as small as possible without making them look bad. Now, we used to think we were doing a really good job of this. We would, we would compress our photos in Photoshop, reduce the size, the number of pixels of an image, and even reduce the image quality just a little bit. We thought we were doing pretty good, but we were still getting images around 100 kilobytes. So then what we did is we ran them through a plugin called Imagify, and I highly recommend this. If you run them through that plugin, you'll reduce the file size further by about two thirds. Now most of our images are around 40 kilobytes per image. A couple of other recommendations related to images. Never use GIFs or GIFs. Also, any video that you wanna do, make sure that it's an embedded file that's hosted somewhere else. Hosting those, those video files on your actual website is just gonna slow your page speeds way down. Last recommendation related to images is always use JPEGs when you can. Unless you need transparency, then you can use a ping file. JPEG files are just gonna be way faster, way smaller, and it's gonna help you optimize your page load speed times. Ready? Hit it! Ah! <laughs> 
Our second tip is to set up caching. If you have a premium host, they're probably doing this for you, but it's a good idea to check. But most of the hosts out there, especially if you're just starting your website, aren't offering this, and so what you want is a good caching plugin. I highly recommend WP SuperCache. It's very simple to set up, totally free, and what this is gonna do is store cached versions of the pages of your website on the server. And that way when somebody loads one of those pages, it just pops up the cached version rather than having to reload all the code for that page. If you set up caching and get it done right, before you know it, you're gonna be booking it. <laughs> Tip number three, install the plugin called Autoptimize. Autoptimize is a plugin that's gonna take all the JavaScript and the CSS code on your website. This is all code that makes your website look good and do cool things. And it's gonna defer that to the end. That's the slowest loading stuff. And so deferring that to the end is gonna allow all the content for the page to load really, really fast. The other thing that it does is it takes all the individual CSS and JavaScript files and it combines them into a single file for JavaScript and a single file for CSS. And that helps minify it and allow your website to speed up just that much more. Tip number four, we talked about plugins earlier. If you found some plugins that are having a high impact on speed, you're gonna to wanna to look for other alternatives. Just replace them with something else that does the same thing, but that doesn't have such an impact on your page loading speeds. So there are really only three things that actually impact page load speed. The code, the images, and the server response time. We've talked about how to fix the code and the images, but let's spend just a minute here on hosting. We're not telling you to go spend a bunch of money on hosting, but what we did do is a study. We actually took the exact same website, the same content, the same settings, and installed it on four different hosts. We did this on four different themes as well. So the same theme across all four hosts, switch the theme, measure the page load speed again, just to make sure that what we were actually measuring was the difference in the hosting. And the results were a little bit surprising. The premium hosts actually had their page loads, their pages load much, much faster. In fact, it was a bigger difference than pretty much anything else that we did. But again, we don't think you need to just go out and buy premium hosting today. In fact, I still wouldn't recommend that you do that or even consider it until you're getting at least 30,000 page views a month. And here's why. What we have found as we've migrated pretty big websites onto a premium host is no major visible noticeable bump in traffic or income. What we do tend to get is a little bit faster growth, just slightly and almost immeasurable. It might be just a 1% increase in your growth rate, but that slow divergence could five years from now or even a year from now be a very noticeable and a very sizable difference in your page or in your traffic to your website as well as in your income. So go to incomeschool.com speed where we have all the recommended settings for these plugins. And we want you to know, you don't need to obsess about this. You don't need to go change your host today. It's not gonna make a huge impact overnight, but over time, it's absolutely worth it. And in just 30 minutes, you can make these changes and they're totally free.